Hey guys, welcome back. We're here today again with Cyberpunk 2077, and this is actually, if you remember, if you watched the end of the last video, where I was complaining because I had done something really stupid and not recorded my voice through probably 45 minutes of footage, this is exactly where I left off there. And I mean exactly like it is the same day of recording. I paused the game, I, on the Xbox I did all my editing all of that and now I'm recording this so sadly I do not have footage of the Arasaka Tower heist uh, we do have some footage for Arasaka Tower though because this is exactly where I left or this is where I left off and we get to meet the character everybody was so looking forward to shortly after this loading screen is done I'm also noticing that I didn't get to choose like where the borders on this thing were. And it's right at the edge of like it goes just a hair over the edges of my TV. So yeah. Why not? Hey, hey, we're chill. Uh, man, I really don't think we are. <laughs> For sure, Hustle. Are you the afterlife guard? I believe that's my microphone. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Okay, then. I forgot about the... For some reason, I was thinking he walks up, he says that, and walked off. I wasn't thinking he actually played. Money's money. Can't fuck around with it. Speaking. Uh-huh. Got picks? Brain dance? Okay. Nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for it? Uh-huh. Okay. I want it today. Great. Wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? No need. Wait up. What, man? Don't do this. You can still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. <laughs> Bastard. Trying to talk him into it, but. Not really working. Gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Chain smoking, some bitch. Late. Love it when you're mad. Get my southern blood pumping. Get in, or I change my mind. Ah, uh, you know you won't. Damn, Rogue. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got it? But what if I don't want to wear headphones? Anyway. You know, I've never had a cigarette last that long, I don't think. Because he, he was smoking on it basically the entire way through there. Here we are. 
Yeah, things are bad. They're getting worse. Skull cracking out there. That us. I hate that Johnny doesn't have scanners in his eyes. Yeah, we're here to try to make them hurt at least a little bit. I just now noticed the bullets are painted though. I think it makes sense. They should be, but I don't know what I don't know what blue would be. You know that thing does have an automatic option, and you ain't even hitting the fucking ground, dude. Yeah, yeah, I got it. That should be all of it. Okay. Yeah, blow the thing sky high. Body parts that I like. Holy hell! I left some body parts all over the all over the place. I want this pistol for V. Wow. You actually did really well there. Johnny, payload. Bushido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! Run for it! Done yet, still need to feed this to their subnet. Fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like no. you could ever understand, bro. You're on your own. I'm giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. The door's on freaks. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Fuck you, spider. Oh, well, love. Go. And I really like the animation Johnny has for reloading and all that. Very good, like, I don't know what to call it, stupidity, dedication, something like that. Because I shot his fucking arm off and he still stood there and returned fire. Like, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. <laughs> Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take Can a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring Ebunike. that he I don't know that name. the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully huh. he can shed some light on the situation. I don't really know him. Um, now get out of there. He might be someone relevant. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Yeah, so it does transport you to the other side. Adam Smasher, man. Shit. You was a big son bit fifty years ago. Murphy. Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Come on, rogue. Don't let go this time. Oh, there we go. Johnny, grab the fucking gun. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Yeah. I'm getting really tired of looking up from the ground at the barrel of a gun. I mean, at the same time, though, it's really... Like... The fact that you go through it a few different times... Through a few different sets of eyes... Or, well, I don't know about a few. I know at least two. And Johnny might have optic upgrades, but he doesn't have scanners. Ugh. And it's kind of weird that he doesn't. Uh, not necessarily, you know, given the fact that it's 50 some odd years before and, you know, B didn't really have that much of a scanner before she got the implant at, uh, Victor's. Who are they? How did you acquire crystal material? Go fuck yourself. Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? Grease the right palms and you can get a hold of anything, man. Hey, Gramps. I know you. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you can act all big and bad right now, but I've watched you die. in that tower. There was an evac warning put out. There are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Como Yuna Koto. Why did you do this? I can read the subtitles. Oh? Oh, 
You are a weird one. I will give you that, Saburo. Or Saburo. Saburo. One of those was probably close to right. You actually do get to see this is that it's V. Okay. Because the nails and like that's really the only thing you can see. I don't know if you could on a uh, male V or not, but I've got the long nails on mine, so it shows up a little easier. Johnny boy. And you, who are you? I am the body you are currently inhabiting, and you are not being nice about it. Come on, V. Get your ass up. And here we go. Sorry for the yawning. I am, I, I am a little tired, so I, I'm probably gonna record this and then go to bed, and then I'll, I'll edit it when I wake up. But there's a little bit I want to get done. Uh, not a whole lot, really. Uh, not a whole lot story-wise. I want to try out a few things. Stop the shakes already. Dig your way through the trash. It'll be all right. Unless Mr. Dexter Deshawn decided to take everything out of my inventory, I should have enough stuff here to heal myself. But he probably had me parted out. Come on. No, 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 no. I, I hate this. This whole, like, extremely vulnerable, can't do shit. You're broken. You're beaten. You know, V effectively lost. And I don't like that. Good to know my uh, implants are still working, though. Ugh, heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we figured shit out. Takamura? Otto-sama-no-sasugai-hound-e-kimashita. <laughs> Quiet. Damn it. I don't know if it would have turned out better had I just stayed quiet. You spend a couple of days at the bottom of a trash pile in a landfill and tell me how you smell. Oh yeah, now you want me to respond. Uh-huh. You know what? If you're gonna if you're gonna heal me, I'll take it. Gun? Weird looking some bitch, you know all of you are. Hey look, it's an invisible pistol. Short circuit him.
no, no. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Or hack or anything, really. Just let me do some fuck. pistol did you hand me? There was no one on that. You gotta let me shoot this son of a bitch, dude. If it would have just let me shoot instead of constantly taking me out of it, I probably could have killed him. We were down to about a third of his health. Don't you dare faint again. With driving like yours, I can't really help it. At least we know he's not a threat anymore, and it's Terminator we both could bullshit frame. Attention. Do you know a Ripadok whom you can trust? I've seen them before. Troy. The exterminators. We must get to Ripadok quickly. Yeah, Victor's got us. Victor. Oh. We have to get there and I don't owe him any money, so that's a... Anyone. All right, all right. Dell. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! I am taking a nap. The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes. Beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the bay by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. Fair point, Dale. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. I, I hate the way he does that, and then it just goes black. But worst case scenario, you're gonna die. Silence in a situation like that is usually worst case. Scenario. God damn it! Why am I yawning so much? Worst case scenario like in a situation like that is usually dying. Or silence is usually worst case scenario. I don't know. I was saying something, but it doesn't make any Let's sense. Get her inside. I cannot hold it. Hey, hey, Vic, you just leaving me here, Ben? To rest. Victor. Blood. Misty. Victor. I'm gonna bleed out. Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk on. I know what I'm doing. It's it is weird that Delamain stays while you're getting worked on because he's an AI that runs a cab company. He's not really supposed to be personal, I guess. But in V's case, he is. Oh, 
Uh, are you guys going to share with me what's going on? Come on now. Victor? How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Dying. Dying very quickly. And there we go. Hey, Takamura, can you, like, stay away from the port on my neck, dude? Thank you. V, you in there? Victor's Clinic, 2077 at 6.49 p.m. I love how it doesn't ever give a day. Um. Uh, I don't know, Vic. The years are rain. I'm not seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic, and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. It was... 50 years ago. It. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say. There's an actual terrorist in my head right now. Yeah. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? His doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Think you can top the terrorist in my brain? <laughs> Topping it? No. Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. We don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. Shit. I forget how hey, it's important he describes all this. all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would be. Believe me. But this is it's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? Because the there's not really anything short. to help. I have to die. I am going to die. That what you're saying? Prove it. Hmm. Deck shot you, right? The bullet damaged your chip slot and your brain. The biochip revived and short-circuited you. It started uploading data into your head. As far as it was concerned, your brain was an empty vessel that needed to be filled by the engram it was carrying. It's me. But I'm right here. All of this is me. The shard doesn't read. It writes. Headache of yours? It's the biochip rewiring your neural pathways, building new neural structures, doing away with the old. I still don't understand what the, the dots on her arm the are. Shard sitting, you, what's left. It's all a tumor that needs to be excised. Vic, 
Oh, fuck. You've always come through for me. There's nothing you can do to help me, Ethan. What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Dick. Get your affairs in order. And maybe, Missy. just maybe, put a bullet through your noble. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Damn it! Now I gotta talk to Misty. I just spent a cab ride to that motel telling Jackie he died. he'd see Misty. I, I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death, the inevitable. I can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? <laughs> Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gonna lie down. I need to make sure I pay more attention this time because last time I don't may I don't remember if I took the ones in the blue bottle or the red bottle. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Not so lucky. Promise you'll try to get some sleep. You're lovely. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams. Oh, dang, I did not realize my screensaver would come on while I was recording. That's weird. <clears throat> yeah, let's knock out. I'm sure this will come back to bite me at some point. Now let's have a, vo a fight with the voice inside our head. I didn't even level up. Are you fucking kidding me? That was bullshit. <clears throat> Plain and simple bullshit. Gotta get out of here. Understand? No. I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? I thought I had cigarettes in here somewhere. Whiskey. I really thought I had a pack of cigarettes somewhere in here. No. Whoa, fucker. Who you work for, start talking. I didn't have to talk to him. Okay. I didn't realize it would do that. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out my 
yourself. No, wait. That actually got me. Normally I talk to him. That time I was actually, I was looking around because I know later on you can find cigarettes in B's apartment. So I was thinking maybe... No. No. Fuck. Alright, and... Are you going to let me load this time? Looks like it. I'll yes. Take control. I'll find a way. Ugh. You hear me? Oh man, I don't ugh. I've I've hit my head against glass like that before. It's See you never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. Well, you hear me? It doesn't mean you had to be I so fucking, I fucking could. I don't it's know. Angry about it. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Led to the head, only thing that will fix this. Hear me, bitch! A bullet to the fucking brain! You're not a very fun person, man. And I hate that because, like, I don't know why. I just had this. It seemed like that character was supposed to be like helping you, and like an ally, not the bullshit we got. Come on. I ain't gonna solve anything by just laying around in the shower. Well, man, dear Miss V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to his family. Alright, so next up is we need to get something to eat. Oh. Check the email. What do we got? Uh, let's see. Any subsequent payment delay will be result in forced eviction. You can come and try. Buy two tickets. Get the third free. Thousands of prizes available. Drugs, re reanimators, primary care appointments, surgery vouchers, blood screens, cyber psychosis vaccines, ripper doc referrals, and our grand prize, a one-year trauma team premium package. Yeah, yeah. Penis and large or penis nano just scam alert. Oh, I would get my penis big, and I Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. Fortunately, Eris did the trick. Yeah. You've been attacked. Malware detected. Computer's been attacked by three demons. Our system detected two attempts to obtain your personal data. One attempt to corrupt your neural processor. Gabra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Can't right now. Barely hanging in there as it is. You may recall that I saved your life. Yes, I recall. We're restricted by Arasaka. A small select group of testers are allowed to participate in the program. As presently, testers are among the wealthiest and most influential people in the world. Precisely the kinds of people Arasaka would like to have in his pocket. The ordinary consumers reading this don't expect the relevant mass I need necessary. you to return the favor. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime.
answer. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Don't forget. And we'll continue to wait. <sighs> Barry! We know you were in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Alright, administrator uh, vehicle is available for collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, no, leave me alone. This is one I actually really want to follow because this is one of the things I was hoping to be able to do different. I didn't realize this mission would expire. I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? It's not the first or the last. It's called life. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. Okay. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Petrova. Max tack officer. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Did you check on <laughs> him when he's chilled down? Yeah. Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Try to keep that in mind. Alright. Was that happy the other? Yeah. Track objective. Hey, Barry? Everything alright in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. Try talking to Barry in a few hours. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanna try to do this one again, like I said, right now. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Okay. Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about cream rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on laws. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Yeah, you could say that. Come in. What's up, Barry? Let's talk, man. I'm, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little unnerved being a Max Tech... Officer, or Max, Max Tech Officer's, uh... Apartment and... Fucking up his tables. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? It's about Andrew. He, uh, told you about him. Yeah, man. Best bud I ever had. Known him my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I don't...
feel nearly as bad about cutting their fucking heads off now. Son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I just... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. Damn, dude. You didn't have I'm sorry. to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly? Thought about it a lot. Anyway. They don't know everything. It's better that way. Let's uh let's actually talk to him about Andrew a little bit more. Doesn't I wanna matter. make sure I I don't wanna fuck this up because I feel like he's gonna like off himself if I do no and I don't want that to happen. Seen as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City. That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it and awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... Uh, I don't know. A window into the past or something. Okay. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. The time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last... Living record of those times. Um. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. Well, I don't know. Was Andrew uh... that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning? I guess so. Thanks for the talk, P. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Let's go find Andrew's niche. And we are, from the look of it, here. Find Andrew's niche. How do I tell whose is whose? Lighter. Okay, there's one here. In loving memory of my best friend, you were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me and Grammy explained what was right. You lost memory of a better world. Rest in peace. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one... It's got somewhere else to be. So where were we? Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise I didn't realize he was here. Got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen. Yeah, we got a... Oh, wait, I can kind of cheat a little bit on the way back. Go ahead and pop over to the atrium. 
It's a lot faster getting back from this place than it was getting there. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, Night City. But soak in that Excuse sun me. while you can. There's Talk to Barry. Time. He finally decided to get his shit together. But cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once, he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped cheering. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. I didn't take it literally at first. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You don't have to believe it. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. Because to him it was. How do you think would react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Uh, that's all well and good, but, uh... Barry? Control yourself! Don't forget, you're worth it. And... Mendez, you fuck this up, I swear to God, I will kill you right here. Just talk. Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. A little kid's t shirt, green with this on a yellow cat. <laughs> Get in. All right then. What the hell is this? I'm glad I did that. I like I'm glad I took the time to do it. Okay. All right, but guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. I uh, hope you're enjoying Cyberpunk 2077. If you are, you know, let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see. Like I said last time, I do play with a couple of different exploits, uh -huh. so if you'd like to see how those are done, just let me know. I'll gladly do a video for that so everybody can see. Look forward to seeing everybody next time, and until then, as always, have a wonderful day.